to Point Screen Fast Land. This is Ryan Wilcox, and today I'd like to show you how to use uh, some useful tips for using BBEdit and Markdown. Uh, highlighting some community tools um, provided for just this purpose. Uh, so we have a Markdown document and uh, a first heading line. First, I'm going to show you the auto underline script, which will create the number of equal signs or dashes uh, that's required to get the number of characters to match the previous line. It works for subsections 2. Auto underline. Uh, and all these um, tools and community um, packages, etc., will be linked to in the show notes. Two in the show notes. Okay, so we have our heading and our subsection. Now we need to do add some things to it, right? First, let's add a list to it. Markdown list. Uh, if you saw that I um, did a, com I used complete the complete command to show us to show me the uh, snippet defined. I could also have set a key command to that um, snippet, um, but I usually prefer to use the uh, complete pop-up. Okay, so here we go, creating a list. Things I need to do today. One is plan this screencast, which I have done. Next line, ah, look, a little bit of magic. I use the new line with list item script uh, to create this, this list item, uh, and I figured out that I needed item number two uh, prefixed here. Film this podcast, well, I'll do it again, and look, the third item appears. It works for list mode too. Uh, excuse me, bulleted lists. Okay, great. Works for bulleted lists. One, two. Great. Works for bulleted lists. Um, but there are some other interesting capabilities in Markdown, or in particular, multi-Markdown. Uh, multi-Markdown has table support, uh, which makes formatting tables in your Markdown documents possible uh, through um, an okay-looking table syntax. Let's create one now. Markdown table. Great. Packages for BBEdit. Created by when? All right, Ryan's Rails package. You, you notice how when I created the table, it came with the heading, the separator line, and the first line of content ready for you. Okay, now we need another uh, table row. So I'm going to call my table row script, and it says, how many columns should I do? And I need three columns. Now, those of you watching close might see this at the end and kind of panic, and I did two, but just wait. It'll all make sense in a minute. All right, so the second Column is created by Ryan Wilcox when late 2012-11. Hit the tab key again. We do... And we do that. Since this placeholder is at the end of the line, going from late 2012 to here, it's just a quick way to get to the end of the line. You hit return, and you can create a new column. Mark down package. Mark 
markdown package. And we can go on from here. But this table looks pretty pretty bad. It's it's poorly formatted. Um, it's hard to see what column goes with what item. But there's a BB edit filter for that. It's called Prettify Tables. And again, this will also be linked from the show notes. Text filter, Prettify Table. And look, everything is all aligned properly. There are some issues here. Um, these don't, there's not extra dashes here, but it gets pretty close for a very, very, very simple script. And I hope you've uh, shown what some community tools for BBEdit can do, especially when editing Markdown. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.